Lachlan, hat-trick hero from the weekend. Just tell me how much you're enjoying your time at the Trinity. Yeah, mate, a lot. Um, since I've been here, to be honest, I've, I've enjoyed every moment of it. So, um, yeah, the three tries come down to Maxi, I think, mostly. Um, all these passing put me, put me away to score those three tries. So, um, yeah, no, I'm enjoying my time. You came with the tag of being a prolific try scorer, and you're certainly proving that. Ten tries in eight games, you must be happy with your form. Yeah, yeah, I guess I'm happy. I think I'm a bit more happy with uh, the way my game's developing as a, as a player at this club. Um, I think my carries have improved a lot more, and, but um, to, to keep my try scoring on the, on the record books as well, um, nah, it's good. For the backs to score the tries, the forwards have to do the hard work, and they're certainly doing that job, aren't they? Yeah, a lot of them. Um, Ren's had another massive game this weekend. He's, he's been unreal this season, especially, um, you know, Pitsy, um, Bowds. A lot of the boys are, yeah, they've been um, exceptional this year and, you know, it makes, makes our jobs as backs a lot easier and especially for the house as well. You mentioned Max, your full back. How good are those cut-out passes? Yeah, he's been un unreal as well. Maxi, um, it just those, those cut-out balls are always, always right on the spot. Right on, the, right on my chest and you know, it makes my job a lot easier to be able to you know, put them away. You showed your joy after scoring your hat-trick try right in front of the fantastic supporters. How special was that try for you and for the fans who voted you as the man of the match? Uh, um, yeah, it was, it was massive. I was, I was just happy to get the win over the line. It was that, that close that game. So just to be able to score that last little try and, you know, and celebrate with the fans that were, were all there, you know, the thousand support, we, we appreciate it so much. Um, yeah, we can definitely hear them out there. Your first two tries were replicas of each other, diving in from two to three metres. You can practice catching the high kicks to the corner, you can practice catching the grubber kicks. But how do you practice finishing like that? Or do you? Uh, I don't know, we, we, we do a little bit. Um, trying to think of back when I was a younger fella. You know, I, I used, to, used to practice that sort of thing a little bit and you know, try to score the flash tries, like watching that, watching some of the wingers growing up, like David Nightingale, um, watching him score tries like that. You, you want to try and replicate that sort of thing. So yeah, it comes down to a little bit of practice, but I don't know, yeah. They changed the rule a couple of seasons ago that you can now take the corner flag out. That's been a great change, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah definitely for wingers. Um, makes the game a bit more exciting and you can, you can take it out and, and make sure the tries are, are the, you know, a little bit more flash. But um, as long as they're scoring them, that's, that's the main thing. Someone's compared you to a certain ex-Trinity winger now playing in the Catalan Dragons team. You'll take that accolade, won't you? Of course. Oh, TJ, he's an uh, he's unreal winger. Probably the best, best winger in the Super League, I reckon. So, um, you know, it's... Uh, I guess it's a privilege to be you know, compared to him. 